Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Hell ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T, and I hope you guys are doing good today. So I know a lot of y'all have been hitting me up. Y'all want me to talk about the whole Whitney Houston situation. If you guys don't know, there's going to be another documentary, honey, okay? Another Whitney Houston story. What is this, like the fifth one? You know what I'm saying? Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. But anyways, this one premiered at the Cannes Film Festival the other night, and it was directed by director Kevin McDonald. And now it's breaking news. There's been a bombshell in this documentary, and basically the bombshell is that Whitney Houston was molested by her own older cousin, who is Dee Dee Warwick, who is Dion Warwick's big sister. She is 18 years older than Whitney Houston. And Kevin McDonald, he's saying that he got this information from family members of Whitney Houston. And now it's being announced that Pat Houston is the one who spilled all the tea on this situation. I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys this small snippet. Go ahead and check this out. So the interviewer asks him, when did you first come across reports that Whitney Houston had been sexually abused? Kevin McDonald says, it was quite late in the game. I had a sense that there had been something behind it. I'd watch her a lot. There was something about discomfort in her own skin, something about the way she presents or hides herself or her lack of overt sexuality. She's this beautiful woman, but she's very closed in her demeanor. I've been watching her for several months and saying to the editors, there's something about her that reminds me of something. I had been working on a film I had never finished about child abuse, and then the bell rang to me. Then I started to ask questions, and that led me to somebody telling me Whitney told me that she was abused, but they wouldn't go on camera. Then Gary, the brother, told me he was abused by Dee Dee Warwick, so it's not allegations. He's saying, I was abused by this person. They told me I think Whitney was abused as well. Pat Houston, who's here, told me, yeah, Whitney had told her about this, but had not given any details. For about two months, that's all I had. Then Mary Jones, who was her assistant for a long time, was with her every day for the last 10 years of her life, decided that she wanted to talk about it. She decided that this was the elephant in the room that nobody wanted to talk about. And this was the thing that to her, she had a sister who had been abused in her childhood. She felt so strongly that this was a thing, this was a catalyst of so many things of Whitney Houston's life. She wanted to talk about it. And that was the last interview I did two weeks before I finished the edit. I had to rejiggle the whole film. The reason it was so late in the film is because it was an investigation. I wanted to represent that this was something that came very late and revised the whole way I felt about the story and the way to represent that the film was three quarters of the way through to have people see the earlier parts of the film in a new way. Honey, so that is what he had to say. If you guys want to read the full interview, you guys can click the link down below. But this entire situation is really disturbing. So not only did Pat Houston confirm this, but so did Mary Jones, who was Whitney Houston's longtime assistant. And if you guys don't know, there have been rumors about Whitney Houston being a lesbian for years. They claimed that she was in a lesbian affair um, with her best friend, Robin Crawford. And then once she got with Bobby Brown, that really fractured their relationship. And you didn't see her and Robin being close like they once were. That was because she broke off that affair with Robin to be with Bobby Brown full time. And that Whitney Houston was really a lesbian. So I've always heard that rumor, but this whole molestation thing, I hadn't heard that before. And I think it's really sad. At the end of the day, Dee Dee Warwick is dead and so is Whitney Houston. And I understand that it's an important story to tell because a lot of times sexual abuse is swept under the rug, especially in the black community. People don't like to talk about it. But with that being said, I strongly feel like that was Whitney Houston's story to tell, not Pat Houston and not Mary Jones. So I'm not really feeling how this came out. I feel like she should have been the one to tell her story if she so chose to tell it to the world. And the fact that it's being told in this manner just does not sit well with me. And I'm just tired of them constantly dragging this woman's name through the mud, folks eating off of this woman. You know, like I said, this is like the fifth Whitney Houston movie. Like, why do we need all these movies concerning Whitney Houston when let's keep it real, in the last five years of her life, the media didn't give two shits about Whitney Houston. They basically wrote her off. And now that she's dead and now that her daughter's dead, Folks won't stop making documentaries, biopics, movies, and everything else concerning this woman's life. It's starting to just be redundant, and it's starting to look really, really insincere, in my personal opinion. 
So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Whitney Houston's abuse being put out there in this new documentary. And how do you feel about Pat Houston and Mary Jones being behind, you know, basically leaking of the story to this producer, Kevin McDonald. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. It's not right, but it's okay. I'm gonna scalp you anyway. Smash that wing. Expose your scalp. Don't you dare come for me again. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.